Hey, this is Val from Crisp. So you are using the Crisp chat box, but you would also like to program some custom action on the top using your own JavaScript. Please note that this is possible using the dollar Crisp uh, chat box SDK. So this video will explain you how to use the dollar Crisp SDK. But first, let's describe what is possible to do with the dollar Crisp SDK. So you can use the dollar Crisp SDK to automatically open the chat box whenever a user press on a button on your website. You can also automatically set a predefined email uh, for any user which connects on your website. You could also use a chat box SDK to hook onto events, for instance, whenever the user sends a message from the chat box uh, or stops typing a message on the chat box, you can receive um, a callback event uh, in your JavaScript. As well, you could use the chat box SDK to manually fire some predefined triggers. Whenever a user actually takes an action on your website, you can fire a trigger. So in this video, we will quickly review a simple demo, which will show you how to open the chat box whenever a user click on the button and set a predefined email. So in real life, please note that um, you will already know in advance the user email and first name, for instance, because the user already has an account with your service. For instance, uh, they log into their e-commerce website account or they log into their dashboard account with their email and password. And then you already have a lot of information on your users in your database, so you would like to push them to crisp using this predefined information you already have. So before we start, please note that if you go to the crisp docs and then you click to web SDK and dollar crisp methods, you have a full list and explanation of how to use the dollar crisp SDK. So for instance, reading at the docs, I can see that I can perform a lot of actions. For instance, uh, change a value stored on the user chat box session or do some action. Uh, so you can see that I can pass a method which is defined afterwards. I can also listen for an event so which will fire a callback function that I defined in my own JavaScript. Uh, I also can change the configuration of the chat box on the fly as well as get a value which was previously set. So one important thing to note is that um, some functions are not async safe. This means that you cannot call them immediately after your page is loaded because the crisp chat box is not uh, necessarily loaded. You need to wait that the crisp chat box is loaded. So the functions starting with push can be used uh, even before crisp is loaded. Actually, um, you push, in this case, an action on a, in a list, a stack, which will be processed later on whenever the crisp chat box is run. So this means that even if you didn't include the crisp chat box but still define it, the dollar crisp object, you can still push actions and whenever you include the crisp chat box, which can be like a few minutes or like 10 seconds before after your page loads, um, it all depends on your JavaScript, um, all pending action actions will be processed by crisp. So in the case you want to perform a get, for instance, which is not async safe, you need to look uh, down in the docs and there is a way that's defined to process those actions whenever crisp is ready. So it's done as such. You define a crisp ready trigger uh, function handler on the window object. And then you can call basically any unsafe, uh, let's say unsafe actions like $crisp.is, $crisp.get. So looking up in the docs, we'll just um, check some actions I can do. So for instance, if I want to change the user email, which we will do in the demo here, I can uh, basically search for this uh, section of the docs and the JavaScript to change the user email will be that one. So you can see it's a set action because I changed some data with a user email action and then I set the custom user email. So this data actually can come from your own 
page, for instance, if you run on PHP, uh, you will uh, inject the actual email value whenever your server generates the page. So you will pre-generate the JavaScript for the user and then send the custom email uh, from your, let's say, PHP code uh, to Crisp. So with PHP, for instance, if your email is called dollar $email, you will put your dollar $email variable here between quotes. Okay, so now that you got a preview of how to use the Dora Crisp SDK, let's switch over to our demo page. So I just built a very simple demo page, which um, should be your website. Um, so I've set three buttons, and each button actually does an action with the Dora Crisp SDK. So in this case, we would just perform an action, open the chat box, and then set functions, which um, set the email and change the username. Uh, so let's just first review the code before starting the demo. Um, so what's interesting here is the buttons. I've just loaded Crisp here, right? And then I'm hooking onto button clicks with JavaScript on click events. Uh, and then I'm adding dollar crisp SDK JavaScript code here. So this means that whenever the user actually clicks on the button here, the chat box will open because the chat open action will be performed. Same here with the user nickname and email. So we can now try the code. So let's try the first button. Click me to open the chat box. Okay, it's working. So let me just uh, send a message before you can see the username and set email has worked. Of course, this can also be done uh, before the user starts a conversation. It can be done anytime, it, wor it will work actually. So let me say, hey. So it doesn't matter if I set the email here. Okay, so I'm called visitor5 right now. So let me set the username. So I will click the button and immediately my name I defined in my code has been pushed to the conversation. Let's do the same for the email address. Okay, you can see that I set my email address from the SDK, so now we are not even prompting the user uh, any email address because we already know it. And you can see that my email appeared here and a picture of myself as well. So you just got a demo of how to use the Dollar Crisp SDK in a very simple way. Please note that very complex uh, usage are very possible, actually. And if you look at the list in the docs of all the available methods, you will see that there's like a lot of methods. So you can anytime call from your development environment, for instance, dollarcris.help, and it will list all available methods to you. So there are common issues you should be aware of whenever working with dollarcris SDK. The first one is calling functions that are not async safe before the crisp chat box is loaded. So in this case, you should use the crisp ready handler um, to call, for instance, the get methods and the is methods. So the second issue is whenever your website is so large that it's marked as high traffic, um, which you can see on your magic map, there will be like a warning. In some cases, um, the set email functions uh, like run triggers and stuff like that will not work until the user has actually started a conversation. Also, please note that by default, whenever you work with the Dollar Crisp SDK, if any error uh, occurs, the SDK will throw errors in your console. So you can disable this behavior uh, if you want to. Thank you for watching this video. So I hope it helps you understand how to use the Crisp SDK. So if you want to check for any action you can do for reference, please look at our documentation as I've shown you. Every, everything is here, so you just need to copy-paste the code examples we provide, and uh, it will just work.